Hey there, I'm Eliza. And I'm Dave. And we're with Ancestral Evolution. Today, in honor of National and World Breastfeeding Week, we thought we'd talk a little bit about breastfeeding. If you haven't already, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Also check out our classes on Skillshare. We'll have a link in the show notes below. Before we get started, I just want to give you a quick disclaimer. This video is not in any way meant to be taken as medical advice. Also, we do not mean this as a guilt trip in any way. Um, if you did not breastfeed very long or, or you had extenuating circumstances, please know that we understand and um, that's not what this is about. We're, we're not trying to guilt trip people. We're just trying to give people some more information and encourage people, if you can, to breastfeed longer. Yes, because you know, we understand in the modern world, um, people have to go to work, people have to make a living, people have careers, they've got bills, they've got debt, yeah. etc. Um, not everyone can breastfeed for the ideal length. Obviously, there's you know various other things, latching issues, uh, production issues. Yeah, there are various and sundry health and, uh, issues so, that can go know, into this too. So, so we're just talking about sort of what is ideal, especially mm -hmm. in a more ancestrally appropriate uh, world and what our ancestors did and really what people are still doing throughout the world, especially in the non-Western world, mm -hmm. what is common. Yeah. And so that being said. So there's a study that came out in 2019 and this published in the journal Scientific Advances. And basically they looked at the teeth of early humans and they looked at the calcium isotopes in there. And basically they discovered that these early humans had breastfed for on average about three to four years. And that is typical around the world, especially in more primitive cultures. Um, non-Western cultures especially, uh, that's pretty average. Mm -hmm. Most people are breastfeeding three to four years, somewhere in there. It can even be up to five. I know it gets weird with when people think, oh, my five-year-old, like it's some kind of Game of Thrones Game of th situation <laughs> or something. <laughs> um, but that's, you know, I mean, where that I think that kid was probably seven or eight in that yeah. movie I and their work show. <laughs> But anyway, regardless. Three to four is like perfectly yeah, normal. Totally. Like yeah. Across the world, across time spans. Um, what What is typical in the U.S. now is not so normal. Yeah. So we wanted to make this video to help normalize extended breastfeeding. Yeah. And our uh, son just turned three. He's still breastfeeding. Probably about to be done with it. It's probably about he's, yeah, it's winding he's, down. He's slowing down some here. But... but um, but he's been very healthy and has had no problems, no immune issues. So there are a lot of benefits to the baby to extended breastfeeding. Yeah, psychological and uh, physical mm -hmm. health-wise. Breast milk contains antibodies, which helps protect the baby from illnesses as they're developing. It also contains a carbohydrate that feeds a specific type of bacteria in the baby's gut, which also makes their microbiome healthier and prevents illness and disease in the baby. Yeah, of course a lot of people are very much into probiotics and really looking at the relationship between gut health, the microbiome of your gut, and your immune system, especially these days with the uh, COVID-19, stuff like that. You know, people looking closer at, as they should, at, you know, where's your immune system at? Same for your child. And breastfeeding is a great way to have the child really have an optimal um, microbiome and, mm -hmm. and an optimal immune system. Immune health, yeah. Mm -hmm. And connected with that, the immune system of babies who are breastfed also tends to be more regulated in that you don't have as many issues with allergies, um, asthma, those types of issues are not as big of an issue in breastfed baby, babies. Also, babies that are breastfed have lower rates of obesity and they have higher intelligence scores and better brain development. Also, they have fewer problems with uh, learning and behavior as they grow older. Yeah, there's uh, some evidence that uh, it's actually about a five point IQ swing between babies that are breastfed for about a year or more versus babies that are not breastfed at all. So that's which is significant. Significant. Yeah. It's a significant yeah. thing. And and not to even mention 
the uh, psychological benefits of the baby, the attachment to the mother, mm -hmm. um, the closeness, the relationship that they get, which again in a more ancestral world and a more primitive world this is what would have been happening to not do that is not ideal so there are also a lot of benefits for the mom to breastfeeding there is a significant decrease in a mom's risk for cancer for breastfeeding 12 or more months it decreases a mom's risk of breast cancer and ovarian cancer by 28 percent and that that reduction in risk gets bigger and bigger the longer you breastfeed. And as well as uh, postpartum depression, which is something yeah. that is very much a, a big issue, especially again in the Western world with mothers. Yeah, if you breastfeed, especially for a longer period of time, the odds of postpartum depression really decrease by mm -hmm. significantly. Yeah. So that's yeah. you know a great thing of course yeah and uh, and talk about maybe weight gain for the mother yeah that kind of thing. so it can really help breastfeeding can really help with postpartum weight loss um, and then along those lines also f down the road it decreases the mom's risk of diabetes hypertension heart disease among other things a lot of chronic diseases are lowered by breastfeeding for a long time the American Academy of Pediatrics recommends breastfeeding exclusively for six months and then at least a year. The World Health Organization recommends f breastfeeding for at least two years. Now, in light of the ancestral data, I think those numbers are low. Sure. Really. Um, but in the U.S., we're kind of doing a pretty abysmal job of this. Currently, the numbers in the U.S. are about 36% of moms, or just over a third, make it to six months, and about 12% make it to a year. So if you can breastfeed for a long time, go for it. And if you are a guy and you're watching this, please encourage your significant other to do that. I think it really makes a difference both for the health of women and for the health of the babies in our world. And of course, you know, as people have, have noted, there it can be uh, socially awkward if you're traveling, if you're out in public, whatnot, to breastfeed a baby, you know, whipping the boob out at Walmart is gonna get some stares and looks, you know. And we're not saying you should necessarily do that, but there are ways to do it and to be discreet and to do it, um, yeah, without making, you know, a scene or, or having even weird pervy people looking at you or or whatever um right it's it's pretty ridiculous yeah um it, and this, know, this is my soapbox yeah if uh, you can't tell <laughs> yeah. um yeah. but yeah social stigma around extended breastfeeding i think really needs to end and it really needs to end yeah. now um there are it's been shown extensively through the literature that there are really no health costs to extended breastfeeding. It is it is better for mom, it's better for baby. That's like mm -hmm. bottom line. So if you're one of those people who raise their eyebrows at the three-year-old who's nursing, maybe you should think about that before you do that. Yeah, and do some research and look at some other cultures in the world where this is totally normal mm -hmm. and this is what people are doing and and just like any other animal, just like you wouldn't want to you wouldn't want to take a puppy away from its mother at say three weeks old or mm -hmm. whatever um, because that's the puppy needs to be with the mother until it's you know at least six weeks really more like eight or nine is right. actually much better yeah or um, else you end up with a crazy neurotic dog yeah uh, people are the same way yeah, and that's under <laughs> and underdeveloped yeah. and is more prone to health problems and it's and it's this true for any animal and uh, yeah. humans or certainly for any mammal I should say and, uh, that's all, and that's all we're going for. We just would like to put it out there in the world that, you know, let's... It's, uh, let's it's normal. To, yeah, it's normal. It's normal. And let's, right. uh, yeah, let's, yeah. We all love our children, hopefully, and want the best for them and want to do right by them. So if you can breastfeed longer, do it. Um, your child would appreciate it. The world will appreciate it. They'll have a probably a higher IQ. They'll have uh, better health less problems and mm -hmm. you know make the world a better place yeah if you have any comments or have an, your own experience around this issue please leave it in the comment section below until next time thanks